Welcome friends, to this video we're going to be learning how to draw different angles, also known as a protractor within Procreate. So here are a few different methods you could use in order to draw, let's say, a 30 or a 60 degree angle. The first way I do is the built-in snap too. So that is pretty easy. What I do is if you draw a vertical line and you hold it down and get a straight line, and if you hold, tap your finger, you're going to get the snap too. So let me show you how that works. I have a vertical line and then I'll have a horizontal line and I'll snap that to zero and 90 degrees. Now, if I want to draw another line, let me draw one right over top here and snap two. And now every 15 degrees, that line will line up. So here, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. All right. So let's just say we want a 30 degree angle. So there we have a 30 degree angle. So this works pretty well for 15 degrees, but if you want to get something more granular than that, you can do a couple other methods. One method you can use is you can import a protractor itself. Now what I've done is I've gone to Google images and searched for a protractor with a transparent background. So if you come up to the wrench and do an add insert photo, then you can also change the transparency down a little bit so you can kind of see your background, what you're working with here. Uh, for example, I have my vertical line here and then I want to, well, we'll just say here's our right triangle. And then if I want to do something more precise, let's say, well, 21 degrees. So I'll go up here at 69. So this would be 21 degrees from here, 69 degrees from here. So that would be a 69 degree angle here and a 21 degree angle here. And so the other thing is you can take this protractor and move it around. So if I want to change that center of line, so you have an angle over here, and then if I choose uniform here, resize it down to use a different part of the canvas, just make sure that uh, you use this as a separate layer. One thing you could do is you could also lock that layer. That way you don't accidentally accidentally delete it once you have it. Now the next method I'm going to use uses a little bit of what the first method did. So I'll use that as an example. So I'm going to have my right triangle here and I'll snap those two just like I did previously. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new layer and I'm going to create another vertical line. Let's say I want 33 degrees from this vertical line. I'll create another vertical line over top of this one and I'm going to make it roughly twice as long because the selection tool will anchor this right at the center and I'll show you how that works. So if I snap to create my vertical line and then select everything, you can see these double anchor points. So I'm going to move that right at the end of that line on the corner here. And now I can go ahead and change. So if I want to do a 33 degree angle there, I now have a 30 degree angle. And if I reselect it, I can do a three finger swipe and I can duplicate and I can do that again. So let's say another uh, 33, that would be a total of 66 from here to here, I can also do that. And then when I'm done, I can erase the other line there that I don't need. So one more example here, let's just say I have just this random line here or random two sides of a triangle and I wanna create a 30 degree angle from here. How would I do that? So a similar process, create a new layer, and I wanna start with a vertical line and make this my midpoint. So it can be any length. We'll just kinda guess here. So I use my finger to snap to that. All right, so now once I have that, I'll select it and make that double dot right there, the center, and then now what I'll do is I'll take this and line it up here and I get about 327. So 360 minus 327 is 33 degrees. And then let's say I want another 33. So I'd go 297. 
roughly there. And so now I have 200, or I have 33 degree angle here. One more thing we can do is actually measure the angle of two lines. So for example, what is the angle measurement between this one and this one? And we could use a very similar method if I draw the vertical line, snap it to, and then move it to the edge there. So if I rotate it to the first line, I'll have about 30, I'll have it be at 33 degrees. And then if I come down to the next line, it's right around 149 degrees. So if I take 149, subtract the 33, I get about 116. So that is roughly the measurement of that angle. So this method will help you draw and read existing angles. Hopefully that all makes sense and is useful. Like I was saying earlier, this was helpful to me as I was drawing in perspective, and I will find many uses for it in Procreate and in art. So I will continue on those series. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on upcoming tutorials as I draw more in perspective and in figures. And I appreciate you subscribing and your support. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you next time.